Rocky Earth Guy here. Today I'm in Lanzarote and I'm in the resort of Puerto del Carmo. We're going to take a walk down the beach and let's go check this place out. Okay, so I'm outside the Lanzarote Village Hotel. There's a free motion bike place here, just so you guys know where we are. Wow, that looks like a lot of fun. Maybe I'll get one of those later. So what we're gonna do is just take a walk down the promenade and go as far as we can. So this is Porto del Carmen and there's a few bars and restaurants here. Cabrera, Medina is a rental car place and we've got La Avenida restaurant. I was here last night. They had some drinks, cocktails, food and even a live cabaret. So that looks a lot of fun local supermarket here so you can get some bits and pieces for the beach and uh, we're going to take a left here this is cool there's some really nice things to work out on parallel bars and it's good it's got a um, wheelchair sign here so if anyone needs a wheelchair you can also come along and use the fitness bit if I just pan around left, take a look at this beach and I'll share a map and a description. It is ginormous. And there's lots of sun beds, hammocks out as well. I will check the prices in a little while and share that with you. But this is a pretty vast beach, I gotta say. And maybe you guys can see it on the camera. Uh, the beach is a little a little darker a little darker than some of the beaches that I've seen in Spain and Malaga and Fuenferrola which is in some of my other videos and I guess that is normal because it's a volcanic island and on the right here looks like we've got another hotel beach resort Looks very nice. Let's just put the selfie stick on. There you guys have a good look. Alright. And the temperature's about 20, 22 right now. And look at that. You can see some mountains in the back. I'm not sure which mountain that is. But just have a look at that beach. It's absolutely huge. Oh, there's the hotel name. Las Costas Hotel. Four star. And look at those mountains in the back. I wonder if that's Tim and Fire. I will need to check. I do have an excursion there tomorrow along with a load of other places as well too because that is the beach. It's so nice and quiet and calm here. I will get onto the beach a little later 
and what we'll do is um, we're just going to carry on down the promenade. Okay, that's Costas Hotel in front of us. And it's nice that there's a walkway here, so let's just uh, carry on going to the left and see where we end up. Wow. I mean, this is a great hotel, look at that. You've got a little terrace part and you've got your own little well, garden terrace overlooking some of the gardens here. And you've got a spectacular view of the beach that way. That's a fantastic location to stay. All right guys, slight video foul here. I took a right and I ended up in some uh, residential hotel area. What I wanted to do was walk along the beach. So what I'm gonna do is let's just turn the camera around and I'm actually gonna walk along the beach. That was a dead end. There was no walkway because there's another hotel that is on that part. So you can't, you can't walk along that bit on the promenade. No worries, I'll just walk along the beach. I might get a bit of sand in my shoes, but that's okay. One thing I've noticed here on the beach is that there's some rocky bits that they have made into shelters here and the reason for that is Lanzarote is pretty windy and I believe the further north you go the windier it gets you do have other resorts like Playa Blanca which is right down the bottom of Lanzarote I have stayed there before as well many years ago and hopefully I can get a trip out there at some point this week. And that's the reason I couldn't walk along the promenade bit on the beach because there are hotels overlooking the beach. No worries. Let's just continue. Wow, this beach is amazing, look at that. That's quite a bit of rockiness there. And it all looks like lava. That's all lava from the volcanoes over many, many years. There's not that many people swimming or sunbathing on this side, as you can imagine. They all seem to be over there on that side in the distance where the sunbeds are so that looks like the best part of the beach we can actually go into the sea now i wonder looking at this terrain here if this might be an artificial beach i.e one where sand has been imported i will check that i will look into that if you know then let me know too in the comment section and as you can see the beach goes all the way around there and there was a plane landing earlier today so Arecife airport is in that kind of direction there and if you look beyond that maybe the camera can make it out I can see some tall skyscrapers so I imagine that is Arecife downtown the, the city center or the capital of Lanzarote in the distance so you've got the airport not too far away and then you've got the main town which I will try and go and see I am going to see some cool towns and see some of the points of interest tomorrow 
I'll need to check the itinerary for that and then see which towns we'll be going to. But I heard Tagisa is a pretty good town to go to. I will be going to El Golfo tomorrow and a few other places. So I booked that with Travel On. It was a YouTuber who does lots of videos on traveling around Lanzarote, does lots of uh, walk, walking video, walking tour videos, but he also runs a travel website. So it's called Travel On. So I booked it with them. It was 55 pounds for a grand tour. So I will film that tomorrow as well and let you know what my experience was. Okay, so with that, let's continue. Let's continue on to the next beach and I can see some more sunbeds. So it's great that these beaches are interconnected. Let's go guys. really nice loads of people out there and some beds okay guys what a beautiful place it's like paradise here here comes a helicopter that might be a thing to do So you can see this place is like totally awesome. It's very cool. I love all these palm trees on the beach. It makes it very tropical. What we'll do is I'm going to put a quick map to see you know where we are. And then let's continue down the beach. Let's go. Alright guys, so we're on another beach just outside San Antonio Hotel. Check out the beach here. It's a pretty cool place to stay as well. And you've got the hotel right on the doorstep of the beach. Alright, so what I'm going to do is let's continue down. There is a jetty up there. Shall I go out onto that? Yeah, why not? Let's go. Okay, there's a jetty part here. A bit rocky down here, but I'm gonna try my best to navigate this bit here. Make sure I don't slip and fall in the water. I don't wanna do that. Wow, this is amazing. Look at that, folks. That's spectacular. And that is the view going up the coast. If I get my bearings right, that's going south. So Playa Blanca will be down there somewhere. And if we look the other way into this horizon, we've got in the distance Arisefi Airport and Arisefi City Centre downtown as well. What a superb view. 
and there's another flight landing more people to enjoy this beautiful place Let's walk up this hilly bit. Oh, this is interesting. Look, there's a like an abandoned hotel here. Look at that. You know, I really do like things like this. To be honest, let's see if we can get a closer look inside. Put the selfie stick right up. No idea. What's being recorded? Oh, my right up high. There's no way in. Look at the stick. Still's an open bit, I'll go inside. Go and have a look around. But uh that's a disused hotel. Derelict hotel on the looks of things. Right here on the beach, and that is a cracking location. I'm surprised some real estate guy hasn't come and bought that. There's a little area there from that Oh wow. Yeah, I mean a real estate could invest, it might be a multi-million dollar project. But that is a pretty good location because you're on the beach. That's a great place to do a bit of yoga or go and uh, have a swim. It's very rocky here. Oh wow, look at this bit here. There's someone walking down from there. What I'm going to do is go up this bit. Well, a bit better. It's like a little village. Line there. Yeah, come down to the right. Show you this way. Right. I'm not going to go down that bit. There's more rocky bit in there. I'll tell you what, let's get into this bit and then. We'll go across the other side. It's a bit of a landmark here. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's some kind of milestone or something. at this point is I'll put another map all right here we are I think I've reached Porto de Carmen area now I will put a map up so you guys know where I am We've got this lovely beach in front of us. The smaller beach down there. And there's loads of bars and restaurants here. The Wat Indian. We've got Spoons, Spa, and then some other restaurants, White Lion Bar. 